with the jam lady, Sue Wilgen, and we also have Angelo Cross with us here. And uh, you actually have won some top prizes for your jams, haven't you? Yes, I have. I've won first place and second place at uh, both the Durham Fair, which happens in September, and also at the Big E up in Springfield, Massachusetts. That's impressive. And you've been doing this for about 12 years, you said. 12 years. How'd you get the nickname? It seems kind of obvious, but it <laughs> stuck, right? Yeah, I got the name at church. Church <laughs> members gave me the nickname, and it kind of stuck. Very good. And Angel, you guys are here because you have a big fundraiser coming up. We do. We have um, this Saturday and Sunday in Monroe on the Monroe Green, uh, right up Route 111. Uh, we have our, our huge strawberry festival. Lots of crafts, lots of food, lots of music. Uh, great entertainment. Very so. good. And helps support the church that's it been does, around. It does. It does. But it, but a bigger part of the money that we raise goes out into the community, helping um, our local food pantries, helping with Project Warmth for those who have uh, you know heating oil mm -hmm. um, issues and, and such, um, affording that. And also out into uh, some of it goes to our greater church mission that helps internationally where there's where there's need. Very good, um, Sue. So let's talk about how we make this jam. We'll start from the beginning. I see you boiled some of the jars here. That's the first step? Yes, they need to be hot and sterilized before you can put the jam in them when the jam is ready. Okay. Um, here in this pot we've got crushed strawberries, uh, fresh lemon juice, the zest from a lemon, and also the, uh, the pulp from the lemon. There's got to be a secret ingredient in there too. No, not really. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a little we'll bit of pectin know. to help with jelling, and uh, it's almost up to a boil, so I'm about to add sugar, which okay. will sweeten it all. And, and this is the strawberry lemonade flavor. This is we're strawberry today. lemonade. Talk yes. to me about some of the other flavors, all which have won prizes. <laughs> well, we actually are offering 17 different flavor varieties this year. They all have strawberry, strawberry something. Right. Uh, we have strawberry jalapeno, which is a fan Ooh, favorite. Okay. We have strawberry peach, strawberry blueberry, strawberry pineapple, strawberry cherry, just about anything you can imagine mixing with strawberries wow. we have. And do you have a personal favorite? My personal favorite is what we're making today, the strawberry lemonade. Very good. All right, so you've been mixing for a while. A lot of stirring goes into the jam? Yes, so you have to stir constantly because you don't want it to burn at the bottom of the pot. And I'm just going to bump up the heat just a little uh, bit. Angela, I've been reading that it's a great strawberry season, too. That's what we're hearing. We pick um, about 1,800 pounds of strawberries oh are hand-picked by our church members from Jones Family Farm in Shelton. Sure. And uh, they'll be out in the fields Friday morning at 6 a.m. and each morning of the festival getting fresh strawberries. Now, we have to also get some from another distributor because we you need a lot of we strawberries, go through right? close to two tons of strawberries between our shortcakes, our smoothies, our chocolate dipped, our pies, our you name it. Wow. Um, yeah. And so. now I would assume the shortcake is a is a hot commodity. It is, and um, you know, a fun thing when you when you come down for the shortcake, you we have a, a hall. You come inside. We even put this is a hall, all hands on deck operation at our mm -hmm. church, and we put our kids to work. They're not exempt. <laughs> so when you come in, the kids will take you to your table and seat you, and they'll be your waiters and your waitresses. So how they'll take fun your is order, that? and um, you can tell them how you like it with ice cream, no ice cream, whipped cream. You can even ask for no strawberries. I have one of Why those kids. Why would you kids. do that, right? I have one of those <laughs> kids in my family. Festival. I know. I have one of those kids in my family. We still we still bring her to the festival and put her to work. I'm sure but, she um, still has a great however time. However you like it, and they bring it out to you. So it's, Very it's good. a nice time. So we have about a minute so, and a half left. So yeah, you're we're add about some up sugar. to boil. So we're going to add the sugar. Keep stirring that. Then we'll have to bring this up to another rolling boil. Boil it hard for one minute, and then we can can it. And that's that, and huh? we're done. And you have the opportunity to buy some of these at the festival? Yes, we have, um, in addition to the 90 uh, vendors that we have with all their handmade crafts, we have a country store mm -hmm. where you can buy our pies and uh, lots of our items. And, of course, Sue's famous, famous jam are available there Sue, as well. I feel like the Big E people could give out a bigger ribbon. Yes, I, I have what to What is admit. this about? It's I so tiny. I have it's to admit, I was, I was disappointed I when, I, when I saw those. Big <laughs> honor, little, little yeah, ribbon. Yeah, that's it. All right, well... <laughs> What are you going to do? You get the honor, <laughs> you get the bragging rights. Um, so talk to me about the, the jam on the bottom. What is it, Satan's? That's Satan's Delight. Satan's Delight. What flavor is that, really? <laughs> it's a very hot, it's strawberry jalapeno added with um, habanero peppers. Oh, OK. Now, have you ever, I'm sure there's a little bit of trial and error. Anything not work for you? Yes, I'll admit, we had a new flavor this year, strawberry marmalade. I taste tested, I sampled it back mm -hmm. in the fall. I made it for Christmas gifts. It worked beautifully. 
when I went to make it for the festival, it didn't gel. So oh. we're going to rebrand it as pancake and ice cream topping and hopefully sell it as that. <laughs> <laughs> it works out fine, but there's mixed berry, there's blackberry, a little bit of everything. Oh, there's you all can any flavor. Combined you it, want. right? Mm -hmm. Looks terrific. But they do sell out quickly. Oh, so you want to get there early. Mm -hmm. We yeah. made uh, 1,335 jars this year. I have a crew of about 15 people that helped me. Wow. We worked um, all day Saturday and Sunday afternoons in the church kitchen for four weekends. That's and got dedication. It all, done. Yeah. all right, so I'm assuming you probably pull these out. Can I do this? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to pull one of these jars out. It's easier if you kind of grab inside the, the jar. Oh, well, you've done this once or twice, well, right? One on the inside, one on the outside. Oh. Squeeze and there you go. Dump out all the water. water. Yep. All right. All right. All right, and this is actually so we'll ready take to that go. Out. Probably need a lid too, right? Here's your ladle. Thank <laughs> you. If I could have that measuring cup too. Of course. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I like to. Uh, I don't like to make a mess, so I kind of like to pour it in a measuring cup sense. first. We don't want to waste any of it either, right? <laughs> no, it's absolutely precious. <laughs> not. And then we just fill oh. our jars. Put it over here so we could see it. And now this has to cool for a while, or yes. what's the next step? A, well, we, it should really go in a water bath canner, mm -hmm. uh, which helps to press out the extra air that gets trapped at the top here, and then we're done. That's that. I didn't bring the canner with me today because I didn't know how much stovetop space I'd have. <laughs> That's great. We have one done. And uh, just a website where people can uh, check out the hours and any information. Uh, you can visit Monroe Congregational Strawberry Festival on Facebook and also mcc-ucc.org. Great. Angel, thanks for being here. Thanks so soon. Much. Good luck this weekend Thank with you. all your cooking. Thank you.